troll. Harry in worst emotional crisis after Duke dubbed beta male in time cover by U.S. columnist. Conservative columnist Matt Walsh branded the Time magazine cover featuring Prince Harry and Meghan Markle a sad display for the Duke. Sharing the front cover featuring the Sussexes, Mr. Walsh tweeted, Harry crouching behind his wife while grabbing onto her shoulder is the perfect representative of the modern beta male. The man has just been absolutely neutered. A sad display. The media loves it. In his response, Democratic Party Congressman Ruben Gallego defended Harry, pointing out that the Duke is a veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan. He tweeted, there was a bounty put on Harry's head when he served in Afghanistan as an attack pilot. He chose to still go. That doesn't sound very beta to me. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry face waning support in the US, according to a royal expert, after a surprise reaction to the couple's Time magazine cover. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could face a growing backlash in the US, according to one royal expert. This comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex graced the cover of Time following their inclusion in the magazine's annual Top 100 list of influential people. The Mail's diary editor Richard Eden told Palace Confidential that the couple seems to divide opinion in the States just as much as here in the UK. Palace Confidential host Joe Elvin questioned whether the magazine cover showed the divide between a more supportive coverage of them in America as opposed to the UK. Mr. Eden said, I should say there are a lot of Americans who feel very strongly about this. If we say, oh Americans love this. Well, lots of them do not. There have been a few articles recently that have been very negative about Harry and Meghan. Mr. Eden added, they certainly seem to divide opinion in the states just as much as here. The divide in the US towards Harry and Meghan appears drawn along political lines, as US TV conservative pundit. US conservative pundit Candace Owens, who frequently appears on Fox News, tweeted, I honestly cannot. The live emasculation of Prince Harry continues. I would never want my husband to be embarrassed like this in front of the world. Just so pathetic. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have garnered much publicity after the couple debuted on Time's 100 Most Influential People. Though the photos that were taken of the couple to go alongside the nomination have been met with bemusement with one royal expert confessing he had not thought the images were genuine at first. Mail's diary editor Richard Eden told Palace Confidential that the pictures of the couple look like something satirical. Mr. Eden said, I couldn't believe these pictures were genuine when I saw them. They look like something satirical. Maybe there have been so many memes of them online and everything since. He added, when you look at the Queen who has advised so many Prime Ministers over the years. She's head of state for so many countries, surely she should be on the list. Palace Confidential host Joe Elvin said, on the other hand, they genuinely are the most talked about people on the planet right now. This is how they work as a couple, he is relying on her as his anchor, she added. They had about five stylists for this shoot so it was extremely well thought through this photo shoot, I imagine. The Mail on Sunday's diarist Charlotte Griffiths went on to claim that Britons could see right through it and see that it's strategic. She told Palace Confidential, they're very strategic people. She's got her wide-legged stance going on. She's wearing the trousers. I can't take this stuff as seriously as the Americans can. The Americans lap this kind of stuff up but I just can't. I don't know if it's something about being British, or being unsentimental. Harry faced a previous backlash from conservative commentators after he called the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution bonkers during a podcast appearance. In response, Senator Ted Cruz simply tweeted, Nice that he can say that. Representative Dan Crenshaw added, Well, I just doubled the size of my Independence Day party. Just double the size.